Welcome to today's video. We are back at Scuba Circuit, Jim Carner. We're gonna be doing some practice today, hopefully getting some tandems in. One of our good friends, Oyama-san, is even back today. It's been a while since he's been here, so I'm happy uh, we get to drive together. He's kind of like my senpai over here, like, you know, notice me senpai kind of thing. Okay, but not in a weird way, like in a normal Japanese kind of way. Does that make sense? I'm not Japanese. Hey, welcome to today's vlog, the weirdest intro ever, but we're running with it. I hope you're excited for some sick tandems and a whole bunch of seat time in the S15. So let's get to it. All right, guys, we are jumping straight into it today. No time to mess around. I want to see if anything I learned at every city the last couple days is going to transfer across. cars out here at the moment there's even this orange fc which we'll get a good look at in a bit but uh, i've been helping okachan for the last few hours trying to diagnose a wiring issue on this car uh, it keeps popping the engine control fuse which is like the ecu fuse um, and it only seems to happen like when we're accelerating or taking a left hand turn which is really hard to diagnose but um, we think we've diagnosed it to the ABS unit or the O2 sensor at this point because uh, we just took it out for a drive and it wasn't doing it and then uh, an intercooler piping popped off the base of the turbo. So we may have fixed the problem, but we're not sure until we can get boost working again. So the last few hours, we've literally been trying to diagnose this thing and it's been frustrating, but hopefully, hopefully we've got the issue solved. No one likes wiring issues on cars. No one. Time for some more seat time. Oh man, her 
trailer is just spitting flames at me. It's sick. Definitely cool, but she's got she's way more gripped up than I am on these uh these almost bald grievers. Like, and the driving style was so different. I love that because it means then that I have to adapt to that, which is really good for competition, right? With different chassis and whatnot. So, so boy, that was a real challenge for me. I really want to practice that a bit more. Um, but for now, Yuta's going out in the practice car and I like to always try and put pressure on him because it helps him learn faster. He's that kind of guy where like, he freaks out under pressure, but if you keep pressuring him, and when I say pressuring him, I mean I'm going to try and get on his door while he's trying to just drift normally. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bully him, I guess. Which will naturally make him a better driver. He's driving a lot better. Put pressure on the kid and he does well. But then he also does that. But it's fine. That's why I keep this like one car distance between them. Alright, let's turn these tires up. absolute blast in those little uh, sessions just then and uh, this is what I was driving on when I was saying I need to stop hot lapping these tires and overheating them so much this is why you do that um, but yeah like I said there was only like 20% tread left on this when I started today off and it's already halfway through 12 o'clock so I'm fine with that because we got these fresh Halloween themed creepers <laughs> here <laughs> that are going on and then these will last me till the end of the day and for me to be able to drive home and then what I'll be able to do is uh, switch out these wheels with some fresh new rubber as well. So I'll have two pairs again, hopefully. There'll probably be 20% left on these by the time I'm done with today. Grievers, literally, you get your money worth out of these things. They're the best tires. Spend a little bit more and you get a pair of tires that last you a lot longer than anything else. The most important thing though with your tire choice is make sure you pick uh, the correct tire size for your car. Like take into consideration weight and things like that. For instance, like if I had two 3.5s, they would probably go a lot faster than these two 6.5s because of heat distribution and grip and stuff like that. So you've got to take into account all of that before you uh, start buying tires and want them to last a long time and whatnot. Obviously, cool down laps is important too. Something that I didn't do, as you know. <laughs> so you just got to change tires and I got my tires sitting in a pool of water cooling down. Well, let's get a good look at this FC drifting. She's doing a really good job. So we're getting a nice closer look at this FC now, which is totally goals to me. And you guys may have actually seen this FC around. Um, Yuki has been driving this thing for years. She's been a big part of the drift scene over here in Japan. And I've even seen this floating around on Instagram and Facebook and whatnot. And it's actually a pretty like a pretty decent, like basic build. You got your standard FC 13B engine with a nice big single sitting down there. Really nice. Nanbareki desu ka, Yuki-san? 
。知らない。四百オーバー。四百プラス。So about 400 plus horsepower, which explains why when I was chasing her before, whenever she put her foot down, the thing would just light up and pull away really quickly. Still has the rat's nest there, very Japanese style, with rotaries. This thing's really cool. Hmm, giving me bad ideas. Should I add a an FC to the mix, guys? We were talking about getting that red one. Looks fun, and trust me, this thing destroys tires. This is just from today. Look at this. <laughs> Present. Thank you. Thank you. How many years have you been driving? 20 years. 20 years? 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 Very cool FC, and I'm sure we're going to see more of it. Just finished lunch, and Okachan wants me to put pressure on Yuta again. So that's what we're doing. We're going to try tandeming with Yuta. He said I'm allowed to、uh, hit his car if I need to. <laughs> so he wants me to get as close as I can to Yuta and put pressure on him. So, <sighs> I'm going to go for the best I can. I'm going to try and get as close as I can to him, but let's see. I got some fresh tires on now, so I actually have some grip. We might be able to. We might be able to do it. Let's see. Chan really wants me to enter close on him. He said if I hit him, totally okay. He wants to see that. So, all right. I guess I'm gonna go hit him. Let's have some fun. Unfortunately, it's kind of started to rain a little bit,、um, and Yuta has to fix a, one of Okachan's customers' cars, so he's doing that right now. And Okachan's jumped in the practice car, and he wants me to practice with him now, and he's going to lead. So should be much better, a lot more predictable, a lot smoother. Should be some good runs.
a bit of drift lube on the track. It's helping a little bit actually. Slowing us right down. So let's have a look at the damage. We definitely messed up this wheel. It's a bit bent and stuff because I completely contacted Okachan's wheel here and messed this up. And this is my first time. Kajimete ne, tire mark. Arigato Okamura san. Itsumo arigato. Tanashikatta. This was so good. I love it. Need to order some more wheels now. <laughs> Ryama kun. He's getting some wet practice in while he still can. He looks pretty stable out there. Let's get out in the middle of the track. Get a better view of his uh, driving style. Nice. Literally, this guy has not drifted in over six months. <laughs> Love and life. <laughs> Always a player for the team. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Man, I wish he could make more events. So decided to pack up and uh, we're going to head to Yashio Factory, do some tire changing. And I'm going to help Okachan out with uh, diagnosing the electrical issue on this car. Two cars with electrical issues today. Um, we at least managed to fix that one, so... That's not too bad, but this one, this one's weird. It, it's definitely an airflow meter issue, but we checked all the wiring to the airflow meter. It seems to be fine. And we switched out the ECU as well. Seems to be fine. So maybe the harness is damaged somewhere. Uh, we also switched out the airflow meter as well and there was no change. So most likely a wiring issue somewhere. I hate wiring issues, man. They're the worst kind of gremlins, but I'm so proud of this. Look, we broke a wheel, I know. It's still drivable on, but 
I really enjoy today. Seriously. I don't think I could be more happier, honestly. I've been wanting that kind of like tandem training for the longest time. And it felt so good today just being able to non-stop like come after Utah and then when Utah had to do work, Okachan jumped in the car and he was so stable and stuff and with a little bit of water and drift lube we were able to do what we were doing. Super fun. Anyways, we're gonna head back to Yashio Factory as I said. Probably pick it up from there. Drink my precious. We are gassing up the car. We've got Waifu with us. She uh, caught the train up and we all had dinner with Okachan. It was a good time. Um, I didn't really film at the workshop because we were trying to figure out the issue with Yanagi-san's car, which we couldn't figure out in the end. There's something really weird going on with the wiring harness, we think. But yeah, this is like really loose. Yeah, but you know. Are you mad at me for destroying a Advan wheel? I think I'm gonna keep this wheel and just keep using it. I'll just get a black Sharpie and color it in. <laughs> it's so bent up through here. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I'll put it on whenever I know I'm doing like tandem practice or something. I don't know, it'll just be a good wheel to keep. It's got memories attached to it. I really did a good number on Okachan's car though. I was happy with that. Back home now and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm really loving the drifting videos lately because it really shows my progression and how quickly I am improving recently. Um, the, the tandem practice that we did today was so gold, like back-to-back -back runs. Okachan would literally like stop up to every run and stuff and he would say, hey, you need to work on this, you need to work on that. And then when Yuta couldn't drive anymore, it was then him and me. And like being able to do that consecutively like that is literally so valuable. And because of that, I was able to get those really close tandem runs. Um, definitely still need a lot more practice. My timing on those transitions was uh, fairly off. Um, but we polished that up a bit more. We've got that proximity starting to look really good. Um, we'll be able to do some really good tandem soon. And hopefully I'll actually, you know, put my wheel in the right place, not on his wheel. Cause that's one thing as well is uh, leaving tire marks on doors and things like that. It's like, you don't want to surge in cause that's when your wheel's going to go like and destroy a door. You want to just be there and you just slightly come forward a tiny bit and leave that little bit of mark there. Kind of like what I did to his tire when he started to transition, um, but, uh, sorry, to his wheel, which then caused my wheel to get bent up, kind of like that, um, but you wanna be, your wheel wants to be like where the door is in that instance. So it's a little bit hard, especially when you're dealing with rain and things like that, like, to, and, and lack of grip and being able to try and put your car where you want it, you just kind of take what you've got in those situations, I feel, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped, closest tandems I've ever done, um, we're improving so much recently. It's so cool to see like just all that driving from the chaser. You can really tell that it's, it's helped me with, um, the S15 in the sense of I'm definitely sending it a lot harder. I feel because that sense of, you know, like sending the chaser and stuff like that is kind of carried over to this, even though I still have to drive the S15 home. Um, obviously, uh, being at scuba circuit, so close to the Ashio factory and stuff, and the two loader trucks, I knew that we'd be able to just leave the car there overnight if we needed to, and I could just use a loader truck. So, I don't know. I just feel like with the chaser and everything, it really improved my driving today, all that extra driving we did at Ebisu circuit, and um, I'm psyched. Closest tandems I've ever done. It was cool. I left a tire mark on my sensei's car. I think that's... That's a pretty big accomplishment for me. So anyways, guys, I hope you're pumped. Comment in the comment section, smash that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. There's so much cool content still coming. And with that, guys, I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Jamata.